Hey yo, this is Reese Maneuver for Bonafide Magazine. with something like Witness, even after 10 years, I honestly can say I listen to it and I find there's something else different to hearing it. I joke sometimes on stage and say, no, not that one, not that one, not that one. As, as far as the best Roots Maneuver track of all time, some people think that is, and I don't. I don't think that is at all. So I think there's a lot more other tracks. It all is one big noise. You know, there's different, different feelings for, for different moments. You know, off the new album, there's a track on there called Go Champ. That's always a, a, a nice one for me to listen to and drive, and I feel proud of that one. Like, Too Cold is a, a really good one to bring focus to a show. We go through different moods of a show, and rather than just be all like, ah, rah, 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 I like to, to have little moments of, of clarity and clear thought, and a moment to, to, to celebrate the substances of the hip hop form, you know, like a, a clear flow, a good tonation, and some kind of primal gravity. Well, my, my friends tell me I'm, I'm, I'm fledgling in my art. It's just more for me, really. I wouldn't, I wouldn't try and sell it or anything. I feel, I'm a bit embarrassed about it. Because to me, the, the music sounds, the music has color and the music has texture. So in doing a few paintings of you know, I don't, I don't paint like real life or anything like that. It's, it's normally just colours and contours. And I think I was, I was quite good at art at school. I think it's within me. I think I could. You know, I reckon I could. I could. If, you know, if I went back to to university as a mature art student, <laughs> I, I might get a first. But I still wouldn't be able to draw a, a bowl of oranges or anything like that. Me and hip hop are the one place where I feel most comfortable. Now, I've been doing other things like uh, trying to write essays and poems and stuff and that feel I feel really uncomfortable without music, without a beat, without a, a safe jacket or safety coat of the length of an album. You know, it's just like I'm really out of my comfort zone. Art's a release and you know art is ever living, you know? You know it's a, it's a it's an educator but it's not about an education system. Not even just expression, you know, it's like communication. It's like relaying information and, and leaving signs and messages for generations to come. You know, art is like time travel in a way. You know? I used to be a bit guarded, you know, and like I look at people's blogs and they like, you know, someone might be designing this bottle and they put their first rough idea of the bottle on. I'm amazed at that, because I'm a bit more secretive. I don't want people to see or hear the first, the first sketch of dreamy days or, you know, I'm nearly, I'm nearly 40. Now I look back at the catalog and I, I want to share the whole experience of, of what went on, you know, you know the change, change of management, the near times when I nearly left Big Dana and went with somebody else and I, you know, it means more to, to share the story and the backstory than to just keep releasing music, just release, release, release. You know, I, I want to give something back. You know? I think video-wise, you know, it's not being a conscious thing. It's like it's always come from from an angle of well, there is a traditional way to to, to make a hip hop video. There, there's nothing wrong with that, but from the angle of trying to get play or to be definitive or to have a presence on people's memory. You know, I've always been attracted to people that have pitched to me with, with something different and it's just become, it's quite frustrating now because nowadays I kind of want to do more straight videos and 
and people keep coming up with these crazy ideas. I think, you know, they're, they're, they're all fun because it's, they're all a leap, you know. They're, they're, they're literally like putting 10 grand on a gambling table because you really don't know what's going to... You have all these meetings with people and you, you try and nail down these really distinct ideas and you tell them like they don't get at least 20 of these shots in there, not getting their money, but something happens. Either the lighting wasn't good in, in five or seven of the location or something. Something always happens. So I suppose the video that I most enjoyed was yeah, the song called Dusty that's on the Left Fields album. It's just such a huge production there. Chinese circus people jumping up and down. Um, it was just like loads of extras, loads of cameras. It was just like like being on a film set. You know, there was supposed to be a, a 10th anniversary re-release of Run Come Save Me with a film that was supposed to come last year, but it didn't happen. I gave a, a filmmaker about 110 DVD tapes. We don't know where that guy is. <laughs> so if, if, this, if that guy sees this, please come back with the film. You know who you are. I'm not mentioning no names causing it any embarrassment. I think primarily to, to start some kind of agency that helps or works with new artists in a totally new way. You know, the standard way for the last 40 years has been for so-called management and age agents to just take 20% of everything you earn. I think there's, there can be a new way to do things now. I spend a lot of time in Sheffield, but I'm kind of kind of up and down between Sheffield to London to West Sussex. But yeah, I did I do make a feature out of that. Even even if I didn't live in Sheffield, uh, there's something that's always been special about playing in Yorkshire, and it's been happening for, for over ten years now. I can't, I don't quite know what it is, and I, actually I don't need to know because it's just it's just really nice. It always feels like a homecoming. I think. Um, You've got to kind of be open to a little bit of mud. <laughs> you know, there's little things you can do. You can, you can, you can get uh, interesting wellies. And I see, I saw people wearing uh, top hats today. I think that's a good look, and that's good for the rain as well. Like uh, what do they call again, the uh, bowler hats. Uh, it's hard. It's hard. I really didn't want to wear wellies on stage because they're they're a bit um, they're a bit dirty. You know, we try to, I try to bring a jacket and a shirt somewhere along the line, but it doesn't always work, you know. You have to work with the mud, you know. Roots Maneuver! Oh my God! Hey, somebody say you! That's right, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right, 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 right. Hey, put up my left, on my right, who's that? Oh, yeah. Who goes there? A man called Roots Maneuver himself. Coming in internationally. A field marshal. We don't partial. Let's go. Raise your high and put your desire. desire. So yours, so mine. Call upon your wife. Let me see you. Ever chasing to that type of space, the type of place. 
the yeah, world. Yeah, yeah, Take yeah. your soul free. We never come again slow. Shut down belt and trophy, though. Nobody knows me, cause that was some old. You should never be up there, we get born again. Ha <laughs> ha What a beautiful tent.